Christmas Eve 1950, and I'm still only 11 years old. I swear, it takes forever to become a teenager. Of course, if you live in a dinky coal mining town in Caulfield County, it takes forever to get anywhere. And when you get there, you're nowhere. My dad, Matthew Sullivan, is a coal miner. The best. Grandpa says this town is so small, they put up a sign that says hello on one side and goodbye on the other. My mom says Grandpa exaggerates. Naturally, I take after him. <laughs> Matilda. We share this bedroom. There I am sleeping. I'm Kelly Sullivan. You know anything about this? Who is it? Your sister's run off. With Johnny? Yes. Son of a gun. I didn't think Matilda had it in her. Did she talk to you at all last night? No. She was worried that Johnny would fall out of love with her, though, because she had a blemish on her chin or something. Ma, do you think they went to New York? Don't be silly. Can I visit them in case they did? You know what? I think I'm going to paint this room yellow. Or peach. Personally, I think Johnny's too good for her. He'll get sick of her in no time. Stop talking nonsense. And get dressed. There are potatoes to be peeled. That's Matilda's job. It's your job now. The ideas ever got him. They got him to New York. I'd have gone with him if he asked me. Got you bamboozled, too, has he? Kelly, get the milk. Yes, ma'am. Grandpa's got his eyes full of secrets. You gotta teach me how to make those dulcimers, Grandpa. I'm gonna sell them to the New Yorkers. New York, New York. What's all this talk about New York? Tilly's in New York. She is not in New York. She'll be back. She doesn't have enough guts. That's enough. Well, it's true. Well, what kind of a man sneaks off in the middle of the night with an 18-year-old child? Answer me that. A man that's got Matilda on his back. All I ever hear about is her dang virginity. Kelly Sullivan, you wash your mouth out. <sighs> yes, ma'am. That's how it's been this year. I, I, I haven't sold more than a dozen sweaters this month, Mr. Caulfield, sir. Raise the prices on all our staples. All of them. Have a sale on sweaters. Yes, sir. Pick up the prices on fabrics and sewing articles. What about the trees? They're awful expensive. Leave them. What with the children and the women nagging, and the men will buy the trees. Do what the kid wants. What do you want? I want my money. I told you yesterday, $8 is all I'd give you for those things. Look, they're handmade. Look at the stitching. I spent weeks. But being as today is Christmas Eve, I've got one more offer for you. My final. Is that clear? It's about time. Ten dollars and you've got a deal. No, ma'am. Seven dollars. But yesterday you said... That was yesterday. Today I've got one day left to try to sell these things. By tomorrow they'll be worthless. Seven dollars. Take it or leave it. Rocking horses in this place. Right there. Looks a little clunky to me. I'll let you have it for seven dollars. I wouldn't pay a nickel for this piece of junk. I'll let my father take me to a big department store out of town. We don't buy cheap quality gifts in my family. This. And by dinner time, my hands are black. I know, but you could wrap the napkin around the sandwich. <laughs> Dad, we've got to go to the department store now. Kelly, don't call it your father. Well, I guess I should be going home. Oh, I wish you'd stay. I really could use some help. I'll be glad to lend a hand. Help your mother. I've been helping, Dad. I've got the money for Timmy's rocking horse. Please, can we go to town? Can we? She earned it herself. He doesn't need a rocking horse. He needs a specialist, and they cost a lot of money. Please, Dad. Kelly, let him drink his coffee. It won't take long. All we have to do is take no. a bus. No. But... Kelly, stop arguing with your father. 
Why can't we buy the rocking horse? It's a waste of money. It's not a waste. It'll make Timmy feel better. Kelly, enough. I'm going to work. That's all you ever do. Buy this, buy that. Rockin' horse and wedding dress. Turn that damn thing off. Next thing you want is a fur coat. I will not! I've got a deal for you, Dad. Why don't you let me go all alone? I'm big enough. No, and that's my final word on the subject. Is that clear? Go to Caulfield's and spend your money. Caulfield stinks. Go to your room. I won't wash my mouth out. Get. Lady, don't buy that. They cheated me. I worked forever on those dolls and they took me. Just like they take a miner. You're a cheater. I'll get you one day. And I'll get you good. Did you hear me? I said I'm going to get you. long enough. Next year I'm going to sell my dolls in the street. I'm going to sell them right in front of your store. I'm telling your father he'll pay for this. No, he won't. I will. I'll go get your stupid money, but I won't apologize. I'm not sorry. Do you hear? I'm not one bit sorry. When I met Arthur, I had hair you could sit on. Look, Mom, we have a hot tree. Something burning? Oh. I think Grandpa chopped it out of Caulfield's wood, just like Robin Hood. You didn't. We got a tree. Mm. Pine's good for Timmy's lungs. But we can't. The tree has Timmy's name on it, right here. Don't worry, Ma. Nobody saw Grandpa. He's cagey. You were there. All right with you, Rachel? All right. That's a lovely tree. Caulfield wanted $10 for some old scrawny thing. Timmy, we have a tree. Now you can have a real Christmas. Where's sister? She's in our room ripping up her wedding dress. You hurt inside, don't you? Well, maybe if you go over to his place and apologize, you'll feel better. I'll go with you if you're scared. I can't. Don't be stubborn, Tilly. It'll ruin your Christmas. Think it over. It'd be fun living behind a saloon. We'll come and visit you all the time. <laughs> you don't understand, Kelly. Maybe not, but Mom always says things will turn out. So cheer up. We all love you. about that. He's got eyes in the back of his head. Is it Christmas yet? Just about. Can't you hear it, Timmy? It's the magic horse. Uh-huh. Hide your eyes. Are you peeking? No peeking. Oh, boy, Timmy. Don't peek. Oh, Timmy. No 
peeking. Okay, Timmy, open your eyes. Hooray! <laughs> 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 Did you really buy? Magic Horse found me, Grandpa. <laughs> got his horse. Uh, told he's gonna be leaving. And Mr. Caulfield knows that when I grow up, I'm gonna get him good. <laughs> it's been a perfect day. <laughs> <laughs>